With freezing temps coming, be prepared to protect the four P's, your people, your pets, your pipes, and your plants. Yeah, some freezes, or since freezes are rare, you might have some questions about how to do some of that, specifically your pipes and your plants. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar spoke with a plumber about ways to avoid a costly repair. The recommendation is to have a steady stream of water coming out of a faucet just like this one. I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. It's not going to be a whole lot of water, but also not a drip. So there we go, something just like this. The other big thing is to make sure this water is hot. What you want is you want kind of a steady stream, not really a drip, but just a steady stream. That is one of the biggest recommendations to protect your pipes during freezing temperatures. That's according to Jason Carriero, who has 15 years of experience as a plumber. The biggest difference between the drip and the stream, you want water to consistently move through the pipes. It's just dripping off. Mm -hmm. So with a stream, it's circulating through the cold and through the hot, which call it is so the water's, you want the water to move. You don't want it dripping. You want the water circulating. Another suggestion is to have the water running in a fixture that is the farthest away from the water meter outside. That will keep the water flowing through the entire house. If this is the first fixture closest to your meter, then you're only going from here to there. This fixture could be the kitchen or bathroom sink or even a tub. It just depends on the house. Once freezing warnings and advisories are lifted, Carriero says you can stop running that water. Another suggestion is to open up the cabinet doors right under that sink just enough like this for the heat in the room to reach the pipes. That will keep the pipe either at room temperature or even warmer. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.